Hi guys! Today we're gonna watch some Norwegian TV shows together. <laughs> Very typical Norwegian TV shows and I can promise you there will be no glamour, no Hollywood, no love and relationships. It will be uh, no fashion or trend, but it will be a lot of heavy breathing. We're going through five shows and all of them contain heavy breathing and a lot of sweating. Would you watch a Norwegian television show? You can answer after you've seen all of our top five typical Norwegian TV shows. This is the first show, it's a reality TV concept called 71 Degrees North. Oh, they are having a nice yeah, it's, relaxed time. Yeah, and you time. can see with what's... Uh, the thing is that a group of people start from the southernmost point in Norway and walk, swim, uh, paddle, uh, whatever, through the whole of Norway and they will reach at the end 17 degrees north, which is the northernmost point on the Norwegian uh, mainland. This is from a celebrity uh, uh, edition and the, the whole thing is Norwegian people are going out in the nature acting like the first polar heroes. It's on each year, you can see now they have been sleeping in these uh, very dairy uh, kind of sleeping construction and this is the whole idea. You are there to, to suffer. Yeah, to suffer or show that you are a real Norwegian. This is what all of us want to be, that we can manage. And if you ask an introverted, shy and a not seeking fame at all Norwegian, which most of us don't, even him or she will say, well, yes, I could actually participate in 70 de uh, 71 degrees north. Probably, if you ask most Norwegian people, men or women, who is the most sexy Norwegian alive? And uh, I think most of us will actually uh, say this guy, because this is a typical Norwegian sex symbol. I mean, you can compare him to uh, uh, Die Hard Bruce Willis or Sean Claude Van Damme or whatever he's called or, or that tall bald guy, that newer one that I can't remember. I, I, this is, uh, I, I think uh, even though it's similar to 71 uh, degrees north because it's out there in the nature, he's alone and he's conquering the, this kind of weather. Yeah, I and mean, he's doing that Canadian stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah but, yeah, yeah, but it's also Norwegian and Sami stuff. Whole of Norway are watching him again back to sleeping. This is the type. You can oh, this is a climax. He's yeah, making yeah. food. He's making food in his tent. It's uh, minus 40 degrees Celsius outside. And he's alone there and he's alone for a month only with his dog and talking to the camera. And Norwegians, we go wild about it. Look at him. Uh, and a little bit of the, that. Uh, U U.S. Frontier music, isn't it? Dun, dun, dun. It's almost a little bit Texas or John Wayne, I would say. And you have to be a bit sunburned in your whole face to become a Norwegian sex symbol. And this is sexy, yeah. It is, I think. It, it, it should if you scroll, it should if you scroll it, it, through it, it, most of Instagram and Facebook con uh, contos in Norway, you will have people uh, trying to be like him in their pictures. I'm not kidding. Mesternes Mester. Okay, <clears throat> now uh, we are still in the same universe. Uh, there's a lot of competition and it's a lot about heavy breathing and sweating. But this time, these are old favorite athletes of Norway. I mean, huge Olympians, especially during uh, for uh, winter sports. But this show has been there for uh, 10 years and it's the most watched television program in Norway. They, they, they rate more than 
any other program and why is it that it's such a huge success i think it's due to uh, because athletes in norway mm. they are uh, our real heroes they are our legends and being an, an athlete in Norway that has achieved something or suffered yeah or be, have become a pensionist and then uh, coming to this uh, TV program to show off I mean he's Axelund Svindal downhill skier she's uh, biathlon handball yeah, but they're not doing anything just uh... yeah but later on they will compete with each other and the the master of the master i think it's the english name champion of the champion yeah champion of the champions you could also say and why is this really uh, interesting i mean it's a reality tv with competition it's very like the other uh, most of reality shows it could be the other show. but i think the secret ingredients here and you shouldn't tell anybody else and that's my theory i, th I think that uh, norwegians <clears throat> we lust for these heroes i mean uh, i think these are sex symbols and <clears throat> it's not a dirty context you're not watching it like you watch watch a porn porn movie on your but there's another thing too it's it's very it's a fair competition it's not like uh, i hate you and you hate no, me no, no. it's like a goal it's a very fair competition yeah it's uh, it's athletes uh, so it's not about what happens in between not them intrigue. no there's not they don't argue or intrigue or they, they don't even go to bed maybe i would we don't have this and is most juicy stuff you yeah. ever see yeah. eating breakfast <laughs> yeah, together yeah. The, the most later they will relationship out and run yeah and, uh, uh, use all the superpowers, but this is the most intrigued part. Oh, you made egg for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. I don't like egg. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a drama. Yeah. And they talk about that, and and we just love it. Would you watch uh, Champion of Champions? Is this your favorite? <laughs> you are actually vomiting on our national <laughs> yeah. legacy. Okay, but uh, these are old athletes. Next one. Nu ska vi till vintersport. Ska vi se sport. Norwegians uh, from uh, uh, November until March. Uh, each weekend there will be a competition, skiing competition like this. Norwegians, you might think that they are out in the woods or they are being active and maybe on skiing themselves. Uh, but uh, the life lie of our, us Norwegians is that during winter we stay home on the coach watching Norwegian athletes win everything there is to win in a sport uh, category that nobody else in the world cares anything about. I find it extremely yeah, boring. Yeah, but we win everything. We feel that Norway is the best in the world, on top of the world. We are the only one that are interested. Because we are and the only one winning. And most people in the world don't give a peep. Look, is that the Russian? Hmm. It's the only one not yeah. from Norway. A national pride and national orgy in just being the best in the world. And you on it. Yes. Come here, Norge! Hey, 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 hey! Uh, this is the last of the Norwegian TV shows and this I would say it has the same ingredients it's nature it's one Norwegian or maybe two out there in the nature it's always about forcing the yeah. powers and, of nature and this the, the whole concept it's called a place where nobody could think that anyone could live. <laughs> it's really... So this woman, she is living out on an island without any connection to uh, the modern world. And she has chosen to live there. 
it's beautiful, but she's alone. I would say that this is the most religious, spiritual uh, program there is. It's a very... Uh, contemplating. Yeah, contemplating. It's back to nature. Back to nature. It's, oh, it's no, like hi, hi. Go, go, everything go, that, uh, everything, jump of the... Everything uh, you have seen is nature. Yeah, but it's like jump of the uh, hamster wheel. Uh. Yeah. We are not going a lot to church, but we are seeking nature. And it's in the nature, you might have guessed that by all the shows that you have El seen. Frid. Yeah, yeah. And, and her husband that died, and, and she's there. And I think this is like... And it's she's, she's driving a tractor. The most spiritual, most religious, most Nirvana kind of TV show. It's been on for almost 20 years. This woman or any woman or man living alone on a small farm and, and not being afraid of the dark, not being afraid of being alone. When she's asked, don't you miss anyone, your family, wouldn't you have remarried? Oh, she never and, does. And they will always say, no, I am fulfilled. It's not that I'm feeling alone. It's like when the boat with the... Yeah, it's the, the nature, from, the uh, wind or uh, the snow or call. something like that. It's never her or him being alone. Okay, guys. That was our top five TV shows from Norway. Which of them would you have watched? Which of them would you have participated in? I wish all. Uh, of course. And do you have a show from your country that it's not world famous, but a typical show for you? If you are a new subscriber, you subscribe, you push the bell, and you have to read our comments because the content of the comments that we have is Oh, superior. I think we have the best subscribers, the best stories, the best discussions. S can't I'm wait worthy. to th I can't wait to see what you guys write about these Norwegian TV shows. Okay, that was it. Bye.